The doors at Corden Elementary were open Friday for dismissal, and police say that's how 29-year-old Mike Lady slipped in. But thanks to a teacher who noticed what appeared to be the butt of a gun in his pocket, Lady was quickly escorted outside. The school went into lockdown, and school resource officer Steve Dooley sprang into action. He did draw his weapon, um, and then uh, the subject was unable to, to get his gun. He attempted to get his gun out of his pants, um, but he couldn't. He got, he got hung up, so Officer Dooley holstered his weapon and took him into custody. But before that could happen, Harrison County Prosecutor Otto Schalk says the resource officer tackled the suspect. Only later was it determined Lady, who police say had no business at the school, had been carrying a pellet gun. Officer Dooley running towards a man that he believed uh, to be armed and placing himself in harm's way certainly meets my definition of bravery and heroism. And every parent of a student at South Harrison School Corporation should be grateful that he keeps that he helps keep their children safe. Now, whether or not the threat was real, investigators as well as the superintendent all agree what happened here was handled correctly. It's a relief that it wasn't a gun, but it doesn't really matter. We want to keep all students safe. We showed Corden Elementary parent Jeremy Joyce a picture of the pellet gun. Scary, he said, but grateful for the way Friday's situation was handled. I'm glad that they're looking out the best interests of our child. I mean, my daughter, she loves that school, and as long as she's happy, that's all that matters. And if she comes home, it's one of the greatest feelings. In Corden, Lauren Adams, WLKY News.